Do you enjoy surprise unboxings? I'm talking about the unboxings where a company sends you a few hundred dollars worth of stuff and you had no idea it was coming. Well, that's what we've got today. What's happening, fishing friends? Welcome to another episode. Today I've got an unboxing from Pure Fishing. Uh, they were nice enough to send me a gift box. I had no clue this was coming. Uh, just some stuff to take a look at. Uh, I guess as a thank you to say to me for some of the other things I've shown off. So Pure Fishing, y'all probably know them better as like Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Fenwick, uh, Fluger, whole bunch of brands under the Pure Fishing umbrella. Funny enough, Pure Fishing used to be headquartered up uh, by Spirit Lake here in Iowa, Northwest Iowa. Anywho, enough yet. Uh, let's start with the uh, the unboxing now first off a couple things that are sticking out here uh, are a couple ice fishing combos So huge thanks to them for sending these. This is the Abu Garcia Veritas Ice fishing combo. This is a 30 inch light uh, for two to six pound line uh, Obviously, this is a spinning combo here. You can see there's a couple different versions for ice fishing This is like a little 500 or a thousand size reel. I don't even know what size it's called the max ice V so uh, in line with the other you know the Abu Garcia Max X that I was talking about this year that I really like for a budget reel. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like this. Uh, now with these, the uh, the ice fishing combos, you either have to get some bands or tape it on here. I know for people that don't ice fish, that probably seems strange, but uh, that way they just flip on. It's not like you're going to have a ton of crazy like power into it, you know, like with a bait casting rod. Uh, so I like this. The reel feels nice. And the one thing I really noticed about the reel that's super neat, and I'm not sure why more reels don't have this. So when you go to put this reel away, it's got a little red button here. You push the red button and it all folds up. So it folds up like that so you can put it in your ice fishing case, nice and thin. Haven't even taken the uh, the tag off it, Abu Garcia Veritas, but uh, nice because it fits up all just like that. I think that's pretty freaking cool. And then when you're ready to use it, just take that, pop it out, it locks in place and you go. I do like the rubbery grip on here as well. Uh, and there's another one in here with some of these rubbery grips that I like, but um, that's a pretty sweet little combo. So they sent that one. And for the second combo, this is a little Fluger President reel. So a little 500 size Fluger President. Uh, and the rod is the Fenwick Elite Ice, Elite Tech Ice. This is a 27 inch medium light, again for two to six pound line. I like it. The thing I really like about this rod is similar to one of the Okumas that I have is up here it kind of tapers, it kind of pinches, and that's how I hold them. There's different ways to hold your ice fishing combos, but I hold my hand back here. That way you can see even with an open hand, you don't even need to grasp it. It all just kind of fits in there. Then you can do your deet, 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 deet like this. And then of course, when you get a fish, you just fight it like that. But these are so bendy. Uh, you know, a lot of the stress isn't here. The rod really absorbs a lot of that when you're ice fishing. But nice rod. This one does not have inserts. I know that's big for ice fishing. Uh, that way, these are a little bit bigger. Uh, that way, the ice doesn't stick to it as much. I know there's something Vaseline or something I think some guys put on these to to help it from freezing. But I fish out of a hut. I've got a little heater in there, and I don't ever have problems with my guides freezing up and the line, that type of stuff. Usually if you're fishing out kind of in the open, that's more of an issue, but in the hut, not a big deal. But uh, what is super smooth on this, which is what I really pay attention to, the drag. The drag felt really good when I tested it and the bail, nice and heavy duty when you flip it over, it's a good solid click. And if you're somebody that doesn't like to, I always click it with my hand. If you don't like to do that, it clicks really easy if you just wanna spin the handle. I know that's something some people like. Uh, I don't do it. For me, it's just, I use just my hand, but uh, feels good. Bail feels good and sturdy on it. Uh, feels like a good combo. Now they sent me a couple reels, a bait caster and another ice combo. Let's, we'll get the ice stuff out of the way. Okay, next up we've got the Fluger Try-On reel. So this is an inline reel. Uh, Y'all have seen me use if you watch my ice fishing. I've got the 13 Fishing Black Betty, the free fall, where it's got a little trigger here. You pull it, that lets your line fall, you let it down, you can reel it in. This one's a little bit different. I noticed this was a little bit noisier. I don't know if it's meant to be like that so you can hear when you're reeling or not. I did notice that right off. Uh, the drag works nice and well, nice and smooth on that. doesn't click or anything, but you don't need it to. Uh, now this, I actually kind of like the way this works. You just push it in and that opens up your free fall there. You can see the inside spool spinning. Let that out and it stops it. Uh, the reason is if you have gloves on, the trigger can be kind of cumbersome with gloves. So if you never fish with gloves, you know, maybe you like the trigger. If you ever fish with gloves, you just push that in. You don't have to have any sort of, you know, small workings or anything here. And you can just use it like that. It pops out when it's done. So cool little reel. Interested to give it a try. This is going to have some, uh, some light line on it. We'll get this to ice fishing soon. I don't know. Comment below and let me know what you think. For any of you guys or gals that ice fish, do you like a spinning reel, a spinning outfit like this? Or do you like the inline reels? Let me know below. Now to the conventional stuff. 
They also sent me a bait caster. This is the brand new uh, Abu Garcia Jordan Lee bait caster. Taking it out of the box here, the very first thing I noticed was the colors. Now, usually I'm not a big color guy. I like, you know, plain black, really simple stuff, but we got black, gray, and gold. Baby, those are hot colors. The other thing that I noticed right out of the box is these little grips. I don't know what Abu Garcia has made these out of, but I'm a big fan. I've said for a long time, like with the Revo X, I really like the shape of the Revo knobs, how it comes to like uh, flares out when you get toward the end. I love that, but the regular ones like on the Revo X, they're, they're slick and they've got like those three little holes. I don't like it. This, however, I need to see what it's like when my fingers get like wet and fishy slime, but as of right now, dry, these feel awesome. I love the grip. Pretty similar to uh, to like the Max X. This has more bearings, but again, more bearings doesn't mean it's better. Uh, it does have the nice carbon fiber handle, good size carbon fiber handle, uh, drag clicks, spool tension clicks, and it's got the regular, was it Mag Force? I think is uh, Mag, Mag Force? Love the Abru brakes. I think like those, you know, the Lose LFS. This baby opens up pretty easy. It's got a little deal here pop it open and that's what the brakes uh, are like and for a beginner I think these are truly some of the best brakes they work really well you know one way you can test that is when you push in your thumb bar and then give this a good spin you can see it's got a pretty decent spool spin there right and then you take your brakes and turn them to like let's say I turn them to half here like so and then give this a spin look at how much quicker that stops Stops way quicker. The brakes work easy. Um, I think it's all around just like an easy, good to use beginner system. So we're definitely gonna have to get this out, give it a try. Uh, now I did look at the specs on it. I think it's a hundred and nine dollar reel. I was a little disappointed that it's that it's a graphite frame. Like that's the same as the Max X. And I bet if we took the the side plate off, I'm reckoning uh, this might fit on the the same one. But Colors, feel, everything is good on it. Uh, we'll have to get it out and give it some testing. Okay, now into the lures. They sent me uh, a couple of the Berkeley Fritz sides, which I really liked. Why, was that last year? Last spring, I found that one brush pile. I hadn't caught a fish all day, and I caught like four fish off of it uh, with one of these. Now, these are the big ones. You can see here, it's the Fritz side five, the big ones. So it's still the same, what, a two to five feet? Two to five feet diving, the good Berkeley Fusion hooks. You don't have to switch the hooks out. Um, but this is the larger size. They've got like the smaller ones, the middle, and then these big ones. The, the middle ones, what I've thrown the most, this larger size is three sevenths of an ounce, two and four fifths inch, uh, and it's silent. But I mean, I'm telling you, these things are killer, especially in the spring. I think this orange color and, uh, which is they call spray tan. This one they call brown craw. Both beautiful colors. Uh, I appreciate them sending those over. Give these big ones a try, see how they do. Next for the lures, they sent over a couple packs of the Berkeley flatworms. Man, there was a point in time where you couldn't find these things anywhere. Uh, MLF, you know, you look at all the, the pro circuits and stuff, the bass circuit, all those, all the uh, the top guys for smallmouth are using these on drop shots. Now we know it's a love-hate relationship with me and the drop shot. I know it works. I just hate throwing, hate tying the thing, but uh, flatworms are nice. I did use these one day uh, and caught some good fish on them. I think I only had one pack at that time. So I was kind of hoarding them. Uh, I've got a couple packs now. This color I don't think I had before. They call it brown back, which is nice. It's got like a, you know, a brown with some silver glitter in it. Uh, gold, silverish gold. Flip it over and it's got that, that creamy color with the gold and black glitter flake. I like it. Good, really good natural color. I think that'll work well around here, you know, just mimicking a minnow, some sort of bait fish. So I need to set up like a complete dedicated drop shot rod and reel. Keep that rigged up. And I need to, I need to work that more this year. I know they work. Out of the boat more from the from the bank, it's kind of a pain in the butt to fish. Okay, they also sent over some of their tubes. I do want to throw the stupid tube more this year. Tubes I used to throw a ton back in the day. They used to be real popular. It seems like now just the smaller guys and the guys who fish rivers are really the only dudes who throw them. Uh, you know, a lot of people, especially like the new anglers, I feel like they look at a tube and think, the heck is that thing? Why would I throw it? But this is the two and a half inch green pumpkin tube. Um, you can use like a little tube jig head in here. The stupid jig uh, or tube head is nice because it keeps it weedless, sits right up in there. I mean, you could put this, you know, like a Ned rig head up in there. A number of different ways you can rig these, uh, but I definitely wanna try throwing these more this year because again, I need to do a whole video on this. Lures come and go, right? The ebb and flow, super popular, then they die off, then they kind of come back. Uh, I feel like that's kind of what's happened with tubes. I feel like they're sort of making a comeback for some people. Some people never stop throwing them, but uh, a couple packages of green pumpkin of those, I like that. Next is something we've talked about on my channel a few times, the Berkeley Gilly. Now, I think this could either be a home run 
or I think it could be kind of a flop. I've showed it to you all before. Uh, it's this swim bait, and if you look at the action of this underwater, it's just got so much movement here. It looks really natural. It's got all these kind of like, I don't know what you call them, like cylinder looking things, and that's kind of what makes up the body. Otherwise, the body inside is just like a real thin layer of plastic. Now, durability might be an issue on these, but that's okay because I feel like this is something that fish have not seen. You can see there, you can almost see through that it's so thin. Something that fish haven't seen, especially in ponds and stuff. Um, you know, you can rig this weedless. It's got a couple of different channels here. I'll do a whole video kind of talking about that stuff soon, but rig it weedless, a few different ways you can rig this, you know, with just like a jig head or whatnot, but cool looking lure. Like I said, I think it could be, I think it'd be kind of a cool lure to try. So we'll see this year. Definitely going to put more time in with this. They sent me two packs of the 110 size and the pumpkin seed. Good natural color. I think that will, uh, I think that'll do well in the ponds. Okay, next over to some jigs. They threw some finesse jigs in. Now you might think, oh, you know, a regular jig. Why would they come out with that? Well, these have the power bait and fuse skirts. So let's take uh, and open one of these. I was just looking uh, not too long ago on Tackle Warehouse. I don't know if they have them in there now or not, but I was just looking to see if I could get some, some of these in. Oh yeah, wow, yeah. It stinks, but I tell you what, that head design, one of my absolute favorite head designs. I like that, almost reminds me of like the Beast Coast. Their G-Spo jig, I really love that type of head design. Now this is the Blue Craw, one of my favorite colors around here in the Midwest. We've got those, you know, dark kind of bluish looking craws. I mean, look at that. That looks so freaking natural. That thing is awesome. It's got a four-aught fusion hook. Those hooks are super sharp. Not too thick of a weed guard. And it's got kind of an interesting soft plastic keeper. It's kind of moved to the back. That's kind of cool. Kind of moved back there a little bit so you can get a good bite, uh, you know, on the head of the plastic you put on. I like it. So they sent me that blue craw. And then this one they say is GK Spring Craw. I like that color too. Browns, greens with like some red flake in it. But I mean, for around here... I'm gonna have to pick up some more of those. Those look awesome. Love the head, good work on those. Now they also sent a couple of the 5 8 ounce flipping jigs. So this is something I'll throw up in the boat. Usually half ounce is my go-to uh, when I'm fishing the boat. A Little bit deeper water, uh, you know, you want it to get down a little bit quicker. From the bank, I try to go with as light as I can get away with. So those quarter ounce will be nice. So you can see similar head design, but look at the difference there, 5 8 compared to that quarter. Much larger head. Decently stiff, stiff weed guard. I think that should do well. Hook is super sharp. Is this a 5 aught? Yeah, 5 aught Berkeley Fusion hook on this one, but that black and blue looks awesome. Again, another color here in the Midwest that does absolutely great. Uh, good, feels like a little bit stouter wire hook. You can definitely tell that's a little bit thicker hook, but that's what you want on a finesse jig, a little smaller hook. Otherwise, this thing looks good, and yeah, they definitely smell. They smell like old stinky fish or something. That smells gross. Um, yeah, that, that smells horrid. Uh, and then again, that soft plastic keeper, a little different. So I'm excited to try these look really good. We'll see how long the, uh, the smell lasts, but interesting that they infuse that skirt with this power bait stink. And I mean stink in a good way because, uh, I have the confidence, the most confidence in the power bait smell. I've said that before. I think it's the most fishy, good smelling, uh, attracting out there. Now last, they sent uh, a couple of their heavy cover jigs, uh, in one ounce. This says has a heavy weed guard. Uh, is that a five? Yeah, a five out hook on it. Okay, a little bit different. You can see the head of this one, kind of an arrow shape to it. The line guide or the uh, line tie comes straight out the nose of that jig. So I would assume so you can get it straight through, straight out, not hitting stuff. Good heavy hook. Feels like a decently stiff weed, weed guard on there. Should keep you out of stuff. Uh, but June bug, I love purple. I'm glad they sent me some June bug. One of my other favorite colors around here. I feel like black and purple flies under the radar, but yeah, that feels good. I mean, that's a heavy jig. I usually don't throw one ounce jigs, uh, but it is something I want to try this year. And yeah, <clears throat> oh, it stinks. Okay. They sent me some line. So some four pound line, that's the fire line, uh, ultra eight carrier braid. I kind of go back and forth. I think I like mono more for ice fishing or like a fluorocarbon, like a clear, but, um, I know my old man uses some, uh, some braid on his and really likes it. So real thin, small four pound, uh, it's going to be super, super thin braid. That's the nice part about braid is smaller diameter. So that should be good on, on those combos. Thank you all for sending that. And they sent me a couple things of spider wire, uh, both the same, the 20 pound, but interesting. Now I've had good and bad luck with the spider wire. Uh, I used to use spider wire a lot back in the day. 
Uh, I think I kind of got a bad spool recently. That's been like, what, maybe three years ago. Um, but what's cool about this is, so this is the smaller 20 pound. Yep, 20 pound in the, what is it? High vis yellow, which is the color that I like to use for spinning. Uh, I go braid to a liter on all my spinning stuff because that bright line, you can see if you get bites or whatever, um, you can watch your line, but that fluorocarbon liter keeps everything nice and invisible. And look at this. This is a cool thing. You get two things aligned in here. So the Stealth and the Trialene line in there, they're 100% fluorocarbon uh, for your liter material. So you flip it around, it's already got that in here, the 12 pound, you get 25 yards of that. So you've got your main line and your liter. I think that's pretty cool. Why not do that? Why not sell both of them together? I don't know if they do other sizes like a 15 pound with 10 or 10 pound with eight. I'm not sure. 12 is usually as high as I go on my spinning stuff. Um, but with 20, that's perfect. I go 20 and either 10 usually, um, sometimes 12 when I'm around wood and stuff. So I think this will work perfect for that. Rig up one of my new spinning combos uh, and fish that baby. But that, I think that's pretty cool. I don't know. Comment below, does anybody else do this? I don't think I've ever seen this before. All right, so that's the box. Again, huge shout out to Pure Fishing for sending that over. I had no idea this stuff was coming. Um, do me a favor and comment below. Let me know what your favorite out of this whole box is. Do you want to see uh, the ghillies? Maybe some ice fishing gear. Heck, maybe the Jordan Lee Baitcaster. Comment below and let me know. So today's subscribe fishing friend is my guy, John Baker. John, thank you for watching. Uh, and thank you everybody else uh, for continuing to watch, support. It means a ton to me. So hopefully the next video uh, I'll be out or you'll see some stuff soon of me ice fishing. Because I really want to try this stuff. Uh, I am really digging... The Veritas combo. This thing fits in the hand. Feels good. I don't know. Uh, but enough for me. I've got to edit. So thank you all for watching. And until next time.